Hello, what is this is Brian Television News Headlines. I am Kemi Omoshibi. The International Air Transport Association on Monday announced its expectation for airlines to achieve a collective net profit of 12.2 trillion naira, being 4.1% net margin in 2018. The projection is a solid performance despite rising costs, primarily fuel and labor, but also the uptorn in the interest rate circle. These rising costs are the main driver behind the downward revision from previous forecasts of $38.4 billion in December 2017. Enterprise Television learned that in 2017, airlines earned a record of $38.0 billion. Comparisons to these, however, are severely distorted by special accounting items such as one-off tax credit, which boosted 2017 profit. However, IATA's Director General and Chief Executive Officer Alexander Dujinat said solid profitability is holding up in 2018, despite rising costs. <laughs> Equity transactions on the trading floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange rebounded from 12-day downtrend Monday. This occurred as most blue chip stocks appreciated in price, causing market capitalization to increase by 47 billion naira. Specifically, at the close of trading on Monday, the all share index gained 130.81 points, representing a growth of 0.36% to close at 36,947.10 points. Similarly, market capitalization gained 47 billion naira to close at 13.383 trillion naira. Enterprise Television gathered that the growth was impacted by gains recorded in medium and large capitalized stocks, which earned Nigerian bureaus, Guaranteed Trust Bank, Mobi Nigeria, Zenith Bank, and FBN Holdings. The fourth largest economy in Africa, Egypt, is said to hold the fourth intra African trade. The fair will be organized by the African Export Import Bank in conjunction with the government of Egypt. The president of Africism Bank, Dr. Benedict Oramen, said the intra African trade fair is the first of its kind in Africa, consisting of a seven day trade show that will provide a platform for sharing trade, investment, and market information, and will enable buyers and sellers, investors, and countries to meet, discuss, and conclude business deals. He said the event will provide an opportunity for exhibitors to showcase their goods and services, engage in business to business exchanges, and conclude business deals. Obama said that since its inception, the bank had approved financing facilities totaling $14.5 billion for Egyptian corporate and financial institutions. Kenya Airways Chairman Michael Joseph said on Monday that the airways is close to winning approval to run the country's main airport in Nairobi. He said the loss-making airline had proposed forming a special purpose vehicle with state-run Kenya Airport Authority allowing the airline to run Jomo Kenyatta International Airport for a minimum of 30 years. Kenya Airways, which is owned 48.9% by the government and 7.8% by Air France, had $2 billion of debt restructured by the government and shareholders last year, and it is planning new routes as it tries to recover from years of losses. Just as said, the plan to run Jomo Kenyatta Airport is vital for the national fat tire survivor as it has faced limited choices after last year's financial restructuring. However, Kenya Airways proposes to pay the airport authority concession fees, but the fees have not yet been agreed upon. On the foreign scene, Britain's government have made a loss of over £2 billion after selling another tranche of shares in Royal Bank of Scotland. The shares were sold at 271 pence each, almost half the 502 pence a share paid in the government's bailout of RBS a decade ago when it rescued the bank at the height of financial crisis. Treasury Economic Secretary John Glenn said the return was based on the reality of the RBS present situation. The taxpayers' holding in RBS will fall to 62.4% from 70.1% due to the sale. However, the government has said it intends to sell £15 billion pounds worth of RBS shares by 2023. <music> Moving down to sport, Quester is launching its paid television operation in Liberia and its digital service Quester iFlix in Zimbabwe. The launch of Quester TV in Liberia comes through a partnership with Telco Orange, which will distribute the platform in West African countries. Quester's free-to-air channel. 
for a free sport launched in Liberia last year. Both sports fans of the country will now have access to the full service. The launch comes ahead of national team football tournament in 2018 FIFA World Cup, which Quasar TV holds pay television rights to. Liberian football fans will now be able to watch African nations Nigeria, Senegal, Egypt, Tunisia and Morocco compete in Russia. Orange Liberia Chief Executive Mamadou Koulibaly said it's the first time customers will enjoy a multi-screen experience in Liberia after seeing their favorite programs at home on the TV or on the go with their mobile phone. And that's it on Enterprise Television News Headlines for today. For more news of this special report and our shows, visit our website www.enterprisetv.tv. Our social media platform are always there for your all around information in the world of business. I am Kevin Omoshibi. Many thanks for watching.